Good afternoon, I'm James for your 12pm bulletin. Wildfires raging across North Carolina as many Americans await for the tragic news. The death toll is currently at 17, with this number set to rise over the day. President Donald Trump has pledged the forecast for Carolina is certainly going to create challenges for firefighters. Southampton, step up. Step Up has a city-wide week-long event running until Saturday in Southampton City Centre. The team are challenging Southampton to swap one short car journey and walk 10 million steps together in the hopes of creating a healthier and happier city. With prizes up for grabs, prove you can walk 5,000 steps a day to win a free voucher for coffee at Metric. National Coming Out Day is today. Here's our reporter Tiffany Sankey to tell us more. The current figure shows that in 2016, over 1 million people in the UK identified within the LGBT community. This is an increase by 11.4%. Those aged between 16 and 24 are most likely to identify as lesbian, gay or bisexual than any other age group. A new study has revealed the best place for a woman to live in the UK is east from Bartonshire in Scotland. The London Borough of Islington has now become the worst. The study took into consideration eight qualities of life, including income, safety, education and culture, just to name a few. Dogtoberfest was held by Centre Barks on Sunday, a day where canine lovers could come together all in aid to raise money for local animal charity, St Francis. We spoke to Lu owner Lucy to find out what Centre Barks is. It's basically like a nursery, but for dogs if you like. So they come here throughout the day while their owners are at work. Um, they can socialise, um, we mix them, we've got outside areas, you can see our inside area, different rooms um, and they basically just play and um, we, we monitor them, watch them all day and uh, then they go home nice and tired to their owners. It's been amazing, I can't believe how many people have come here, um, it's absolutely buzzing today, everyone's in a good mood, the dogs are all beautiful um, and yeah, they're all getting on lovely so yeah, it's really, really exciting. Music in the City has returned in Southampton for another year. The event aims to bring together local artists in unusual areas. There'll be more on this in our next bulletin. That's all from me. Join us again at 2pm for your next bulletin with Larry.